Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to answer some questions about the solar can heater. I built this about two weeks ago and I've gotten a lot of questions on what can you do with this. First thing that I've been asked was what's the maximum temperature and today the temperature coming out, the, the warm air coming out of the solar can heater is 177 degrees and it's been sitting around there for the last, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. You can see, if you can see on my iPad, it's 45 degrees here today. So this has been out in the sun for two hours. The thermometer's been in there for maybe 20, 30 minutes, but the maximum temperature seems to be around 177 degrees. The other question I was asked is, can the solar heater heat a greenhouse? The answer is yes and no. Yes, during the day, it can definitely add heat to the greenhouse and warm the air up during the day. The problem with solar heaters is that when the sun goes down or if the sun is not out, it's not going to generate heat. So there's something that's called thermal mass. Thermal mass is really putting material into your greenhouse like a really 40, 50 gallon container of water, stones or earth or something that will absorb the heat that comes in during the day naturally into the greenhouse from the sun and also the heat that may come out of um, a solar can heater like this. Those objects have thermal mass, they hold the heat, and then they radiate the heat back into the greenhouse at night. So without having enough thermal ma mass in your greenhouse, you're just not going to be able to use the heat that's generated from this during the day for, for the evening, for the nights. The other question that I was asked was how much heat comes out of the um, the thermal solar heaters. And this is a small scale size. Some of them hold two or 300 cans. And really to answer that, it just got up to 180 degrees. Really to answer the question, um, you have to get a formula that calculates, here's a, a solar fan, that basically calculates the amount of heat that's coming out, the amount of air that a fan can move into the greenhouse, and then you can kind of figure out um, how much heat is really flowing into there. And that's kind of complicated. I don't know how to do it. I'm not going to do it. But what you would need to do is really um, attach a fan to the output of the solar can heater. This is again is solar. And all you do is you hook it up so that it's uh, either, if it's electric, um, you have no worries. If it's solar, you've got to make sure the solar cells are facing forward. I'm going to take this apart and create a fan that basically will sit in front of this and draw the hot air into the greenhouse at some point. Now, other applications was the final question I was asked. If you build something like this that has two or 300 cans, you can heat your garage, you can put something like this in a windowsill and just pull heat into either a garage or a work area. If you make um, a massive solar heater with two or 300 cans, you can put it on the side of your house and really bring the warm air into your basement and it will really supplement your gas or electric heating or oil heating that you have in your house. There's a lot of things that you can do with the solar can heater. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, please just leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you with answers. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.